Hello guys and welcome back. I know I'm shocked I'm filming too but we finally have Wi-Fi so <laughs> I can finally film. If you are new here, hi I'm Heather and I love all things colourful, makeup, indie, etc. And I figured we'd just get ready, have a bit of a play, catch up and yeah. Uh, before we do get into it, I'm aware of some of these may come across as very first world problems, I'm aware. It's still stressful. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, I'm just going to be using a Nomad Valentine's Day palette. Um, and just having a bit of a play but catching you guys up with what has been going on. Um yeah. I'm not gonna really talk about the makeup so I'm afraid to say it is what it is. Um, this palette's been out for a while anyway, they've actually since had another release since this one, but either way. Um yeah, so what has been going on? Whew. Um so as you all know that, um, well if you don't know, uh, if you're new here, uh, we have been trying to move for a while, not on the forehead. Yeah, we've been in the process of moving for a long, long time, so we, well I sold my house and we had an offer accepted on a house in July and through many, many, many <laughs> solicitor problems and incompetencies is the only way to put it. Um, we finally moved in March and I know it's April when you're seeing this but it's we only got internet. Uh, what was it? Two days ago? Yeah. Two days ago. So, you know, that's fun. If I keep looking there by the way, it's because that's where my phone is, I'm checking the store recording. Because I am out of practice. Um Yeah. And we initially thought, like, because the website that they use it gives you like a estimated completion date. And that's in October, and we were like, wow, that's amazing. Like, the way that the um, documents and stuff that they were doing was progressing. Like, great. And then it turns out, solicitors I've got to send each other, it's called an undertaking, basically, just letting the other solicitors know, oh, okay. like, my buyer's solicitor, letting them know, oh, we're the dealing with this. We didn't send that out until was it must have been January I think it was January. So you're talking like six months down the line and bear in mind obviously we had a mortgage for this. Um, so we had to get that all confirmed and then the Tories announced their new financial plans and all the interest rates skyrocketed because Bank of England had a fit. Um, but yeah, so there's all that that was going on. And then we managed to get our mortgage extended by two weeks. It was meant to expire on the 3rd of February. But the um, you can extend for two weeks, so we got it until the 17th, and I think it was like the 15th, and we were like, that's it, it's done, it is done. Like, the amount of tears I've shed over this house, it's been horrendous, which again, I know, first of all problems, but it's a, it's a lot of money and a lot of like, stress and stuff, um, And then somehow we managed to get an absolute ringer from our mortgage lender where they will let you 
complete 28 days after the expiry and I was like oh my god so we are officially in now um, thank god um, yeah so we're all moved in uh, just waiting for furniture and stuff to arrive um, and then um, the Friday before we were meant to move, I took Logan to a vet appointment because, um, as gross as it sounds for you, don't know. Um, sometimes dogs' anal glands can like need squeezing. I know it's glamorous being a pet owner. I'm not doing it. I'm not squeezing anything. Um, and yeah, so I went to that appointment. Thought, yeah, just get this done. Annoying that it's going to cost me like give us like fifty pounds, something like that. But I wasn't going to do it, and it needed doing because um, they can smell. That's when you know that they need doing. Again glamorous and the nurse came out and she was like I found a lump I'm gonna get the vet to check it out is that okay and I was like yeah she was like you have to pay for the vet visit like the consultation but I was like well if it needs doing it's doing um like it is what it is so they get I'm sat there for about 15 minutes waiting and then the back calls is in. And he has a feel. And you could just tell that something was up because instantly its demeanour changed. I was like, mm, I'm not liking this. And he was like, I think it's cancer. And the, the whole world just closed in. Like, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Um, I was just in a state of shock and it was like, um, it can be quite aggressive this form of cancer because if it, if it has originated in his sacs like we think it has, it can be quite aggressive. Um, we're going to have to biopsy, it could just be compacted but it's unlikely, um, but it could, so enter the longest weekend of my life where I'm waiting for a phone call from the, um, the soft, soft tissue team. Um, The vets that I'm with, they've got their own like animal hospital and stuff, which is amazing. So I'm waiting all Monday, like waiting all weekend, ready for Monday to get a phone call, an appointment to have his biopsy. So that was a very long weekend. While I'm trying to pack, because we were moving, we're moving like the Friday. Um. So we get, I get a phone call on the Monday, um, we get an appointment for the Wednesday and um, we go for the appointment on the Wednesday and it's a week, it's an early morning appointment thankfully, I think they tend to do their consultations pretty early so then we've got the rest of the day for um, like biopsies and surgeries and stuff and she again said it probably is, we will have to like we can send it away for um, staging and stuff, but you will have to wait a couple of weeks for that to come back. Um, I would quite, and then she was like, um, I would quite like to CTM, but again, you got to wait for the results for a few weeks. Um, or we can x-ray him and ultrasound him 
and we can do that today because I got told not to feed him like the morning of slash the night like not too late the night before so uh, she was like we can get a good sense of like if it's spread um maybe if it'll turn metastasize but if um anything like that um we can get a good idea of that because generally this kind of cancer goes to goes to the lymph nodes and a dog's abdomen is just full of lymph nodes um, and there's some in the chest like if it goes to the chest or the throat then we're in trouble um, and I was just like I don't want to wait I know a CT will probably give you a better image but I just I couldn't wait um, like yeah okay a CT will give you all of the absolute nitty gritty but I don't want to wait that long um, I'm just dropping things don't mind me um, so then um, they take him and it is a very long day waiting for that phone call just to see what they found um, and then um, I get a phone call about um, what time? I think it's about three o'clock. Saying, yeah, it has gone into some of his nodes in his stomach. We don't see any in the chest, which is obviously a very good sign. Um, what do you want us to do? It's like, oh my god, now I just have to decide what to do. Um, and obviously when she took him for the ultrasound and stuff, she gave me like costs and stuff, but not that that factored into any decision, but... Um, Because he's, in, he's insured anyway, but obviously only up to a certain value. Um, and I said to her, I was like, well, cost aside, what would you do if it was your dog? She was like, well, I'm a surgeon. Like, my first instinct is to go in and cut. But fair. Um, but for his quality of life, I'm she obviously recommended that we go for the surgery, um, and we did. And um, she was like, "I'm gonna." She's like, "I've got another dog that I need." This was before the um, before she called me. She. Um, that was another dog that was in the waiting room. That. Struggling to reach up to that top priority, which you know, obviously. Um, so then, um, obviously, it was a longer wait for the phone call in the first place than I was hoping for, but um, yeah, she was like, I'm gonna because of like um, where everything is. Um, it's going to be a couple of hours. Um, like you can wait if you want time to think about the decision because um, he's not like properly anaesthetized. He's just had some Sorry about that, the Rang and Bowman game. Singing a very nice song. Um, yeah, 
So she was like, if you want some time to make a decision about the surgery, um, it's not fully anaesthetised, so like, there's no rush. I was like, well, I don't want that a lot. Like, I don't really want, like, um, to go through this again, so um, we decided, obviously decided to go ahead. Um, and she was just like, I'll be a few hours because I've obviously got to go in in the bum, first of all, which, you know, I'm sure I'll be appreciated. Um, and um, I've got to go in down his abdomen and I've got to find them all and get them all out, like all the ones that the ultrasound showed. So I knew it was going to be a few hours, but it still was the longest few hours of my life. Um, I think she called me again at like, I think it was like 8 o'clock at night, which, so she'd been obviously like at the appointment at like, because uh, half, I think it was at 10 to 9 in the morning or something like that. Um, she was at that appointment and then obviously she was working on him till like 9 o'clock. Um, he's probably just going to stop under the desk right now. Um, and then. Can you tell my brain so I can put on two different things once trying to tell the story and remember what I'm doing? Um, just inhaled half of that. Um, and then, yeah, she was like, we're going to keep him in for observations overnight, which um, obviously you expect after abdominal surgery. Um, she was like, you can probably take him home tomorrow, which depends on how he gets on overnight, if you think he's still in a lot of pain, or if he's not um, eating and drinking and pooping like he should be. They might want to keep him in. It's like, right, okay. Fair. Um, and then, I might just put that down. Um, but the surgery went really well. And um, he's woken up from anaesthesia, which is obviously a big concern if they don't wake up because he is 10 ish, I think. Um, obviously, we're not 100% sure because he is a rehome. Um, and then. I got a phone call on Thursday saying, yep, you can come pick him up, at which point we are like absolutely cutting the house, making sure that everything is packed, clean everywhere because we don't want to do it on the day of the move because that would have been too stressful. Um, like trying to move and pack and clean and everything ready for the new guy coming in. Um, so that was not the funnest week of my life. Moving and my dog having cancer surgery in the same week. So, um, yeah, that's a lot of what's been going on. And obviously we've been trying to get the house. Sorted, decorated, etc. etc. Um, we had Virgin organised for the day after we moved in. Guy turns up, there's no cable coming to the house. Um, so he can't. Give us a new Wi-Fi, 
I've decided I don't like the open halo on me, so I'm just going to close it up. Um, you guys must be sick of me rambling by now. Um, a very panda like. Um, yeah, and then Vet said, obviously, you can't. Do any stairs? You can't. Um, he's got to have his cone on, etc., etc. And don't let him jump up or anything, which is obviously really easy when you're trying to move and keep an eye on a dog. But um, he was it was so funny. Bless him. He had like he's got he had like two little ball patches around his bum. So it like he was wearing chaps. And a lot of the stomach was obviously shaved down. Um, if any of you are still actually here, please let me know. Um, and you get 10 points to whatever your chosen house is. Let me know what that is down below because if any, I'd be surprised if anyone's still there. Um, but yeah, he is doing really well. We actually went out for like an hour earlier because it's over the next day today, it's about holiday Friday. Um, I'll try and put a picture in. Still don't know how to do that on DaVinci, but I uh, will figure it out. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on with this edge, but we'll figure that out. But yeah, um, honestly, I can't thank the vets enough for how fast they got him diagnosed, seen, etc. But yeah, he's doing really well. Um, obviously we don't know how long we have left with him, but um, I'll take what I can get, to be honest. Do you guys do an inner corner with a halo or do you just skip it? We did suggest um, chemo but it would have been a lot of vet appointment and um, back and forth for him and I just didn't want the last year, 18 months of his life to be so just full of appointments and blood tests and him not feeling great so um, we're just going to see how he goes. Manage his pain if he is in any. He doesn't really seem to have a care in the world at the minute. Um, and we'll go from there. We would not recommend moving the same week as. Uh, you don't give me cancer surgery? 10 out of 10, would not recommend. 0 out of 10. I was trying to say like 100% would not recommend, but words. Um, I'm going to finish this up, put on a lip, and some lashes, and I'll be back in a second. And if you still pay for me rambling, well done. Alright, guys, that is this lovely spring look done and dusted, and the next video uploaded. And and hope you guys have a wonderful bank holiday weekend. If you're working it, I hope your shifts go very quickly and people are kind. And see you guys in my next one. Bye.